So I've always got loads of ideas of what to do on X-Life, however, I've always out of ideas for the intro. So here's me sitting on a chair. Please give me some intro ideas in the comments, this is terrible. Wow, wasn't that fascinating? Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed, but if you are subscribed, then don't bother subscribing because you're already subscribed. Okay, let's start the video. Hello, 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 and welcome back to X-Life, and more importantly, welcome to Joel's Palace. I really need to think of like a proper name for it, like Joel's Palace sounds pretty bad. I put a big B on the front for beans. It could be the, the Ballas. Yeah. Today we're not actually going to be working on the base. I'm going to have to do a big time lapse sometime soon and just finish the whole other side here. These bits on the left and the right are different, although identical on each side. So I kind of want to get this full center section done before moving on to the side bits. However, it is the same time lapse, basically, as I did last episode, just reversed. So I thought this episode, let's switch it up a bit. Let's do some different stuff. But don't worry, I'm not getting bored of building that base. I'm so excited for it all to come together. Today, however, I desperately need a way of getting some diamonds passively. And that way has to be making a new shop as our leather shop was good at the start as a good idea, but turns out leather's really easy to get. So making a shop for it, pretty stupid. So instead, let's make a shop of things that are kind of annoying to get. A shop that just sells loads of random stuff. However, we need to really upgrade ourselves a bit quickly. Lots of people have got these hell shelves, which give you insane enchantments. And I'm still here with like protection seven and fire protection five and stuff. Pretty basic stuff in comparison to what other people have got. So we might have to kill the wither to get a better sword. Plus, work on getting some better enchantments. So I've actually planned to do a live stream over on my second channel. More smallish beans. Make sure to check it out. I'm doing a Q&A later this week on there. And we're going to get some stuff done. Some bobs and bits. Wait, bits and bobs, not bobs and bits. Hang on. That would be a great name for a shop. Joel's Bobs and Bits. <laughs> So I had a uh, pretty eventful stream. Uh, here's what happened. I decided to kill the wither. So I made loads of this obsidian glass and set up a wither killing section. But turns out it didn't work. And then this happened. Oh, this has not gone well. I'm withered. Drink milk, run out of arrows. Oh my gosh, I'm actually gonna disconnect. I had two hearts. Oh no, I don't know what to do. Luckily, however, Scott was watching the stream and he came and helped. I went on my spectator account and watched him kill the wither. Then I logged back in and nearly died of wither until Scott gave me his totem. So we owe Scott a lot now, basically. No, go back to the... Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. <sighs> uh, <sighs> <sighs> the fact that I just saved your heart. <laughs> Thank you so much. Here, have some yeah. steak. <laughs> I ended up using Fwip's Wither Killing Chamber, and I managed to get three Never Stars. We also did a lot of other stuff as well, but honestly, I'm still trying to get over that. I can't believe that happened. But now I've done a bit of grinding off camera, and I've got a load of these Hell Shells. They're pretty easy to make. All you need really is a brewing stand and some blaze rods, and you're fine. And as I said, we killed the Wither a few times at Fwip's, and I've got this Never Star Sword now that I made, and I can enchant it with 50 levels of enchanting. And Mounted Strike, is that a joke? Oh my gosh, look at this. This is the, as insane swords go, this one is terrible. Disenchant that and head quickly down and let's try that again. Okay, we've got 164. Let's see if we can get something good. Smite. I don't really want, I want sharpness. But look, unlimited power. We got a pretty good uh, enchantment there. Shame it was rubbish. Mounted strike again. Okay, this one's not bad. Sharpness is that six sharpness 14 i'm gonna try one more time and see if we can get something better okay here we go that's sharpness 15. knowledge of the ages eight <laughs> what knock back and unbreaking okay let's go test out how much xp this gives us now from one hit knowledge of the ages eight are you insane all right kill these zombies oh it's not got sweeping edge on it but it looks like it does pretty well for knowledge of the ages that's decent i'll take that we need to add some more enchantments on it quickly and buff it up but before we do that we can enchant some of our armor i guess i'm taking it all off now this is a bit crazy i know let's start with the chest piece and the boots because we want to get feather falling Oh my gosh, it's got Feather Falling 27, but it's also got Life Mending. Wait, I can get a book and take that off, I'm pretty sure, because it's a curse. If I use this, yes, it gets rid of the curse, and then we've got some insane boots. I'm breaking 14, that's nuts. All right, and let's do our chest piece. Protection 15, I'll take that. And I'm kind of bored of enchanting for now, but that's, that's good. 
Let's add some more stuff to our sword, like mending, etc. All right, there we go. That sword's looking a bit better. I need to add looting onto it. I'll try and get some books with some good looting enchantments. But now I feel like doing some building. I've done a lot of upgrading and to be honest, I'm bored of it. I forgot to mention, but also on my stream, I started working on the path up to the new base. It's going to be from over here and it's going to cut through the cliff here. And we're probably going to have a few ways to get to this base. Obviously, you can see I didn't get very far, but we're going to have a few ways to get to this base. And this one is going to be a special one because at the top of this path on the left here, next to the Jeremyville sign, we're going to build something very nice for our donkey friend who I hope is still there. I don't know if he's still there. Hopefully he's still there. So it's time to bring our second account onto the server. Lazy Beans, take it away with this time lapse. So we start off with a load of terraforming. To be honest, this whole mountain was looking pretty ugly. I had to break through it all, sort of redesign it, etc. And we actually have two paths here. One, which you can kind of see right now, is going straight up. There's a little one to the right there where you see some stairs. That's where we're going to have a place for Donkey Jeremy to stay. But I made it look very nice and overgrown. I did in a load of flowers and a path along the bottom. And I feel like this is one of the things which just looks better from ground level. Heading up this path here I think looks awesome. This way you can see leads to the base which is still loading in, takes a while. And then over here is the other path I was talking about where we've started like sort of cautioning off a little section here which will be like the garden for Donkey Jeremy's place. Probably have like a little fence gate here and a little hut for him to stay in and uh, try and hide the back of this because I can't be bothered to fill this in right now. But imagine around here somewhere is where we're going to have like our waystone of a nice little tree overgrown area and it's looking very cute. So I think now we might quickly work on this area right here. Add a bit more grass in, add a little hut for Donkey Jeremy. Probably only small, he, he is just a, a regular donkey after all but we'll make it nice nonetheless. So let's not wait around, let's cut straight into a brand new time lapse. I was thinking this would be a really good area just to have like all the pets we've got. We've got the panda rock next to it, so we've already got the pandas in there, but having like a little alleyway of like different huts and houses for all our pets to live in would be really cute. Starting out with Donkey Jeremy's little hut here, which I think is looking rather adorable. So as you can see, he's got a tiny little hut here looking very adorable. We've got the gate in. He can just chill in here. It's a bit empty inside but he doesn't really need anything he's a donkey little pool as well for him to chill in and he's got a nice view over this way to what is basically the back of the Jeremy Ball side I'm pretty sure he can't get out of here so let's grab him quickly come with me and you'll be in a world of pure Jeremy vacation I don't know I also need to desperately work on adding this bridge in across here as I'm sick of swimming but let's plop down donkey Jeremy there we go Ooh. There's the lead. I hope you enjoy your time here, Donkey Jeremy. He looks happy. I'm glad. It's a great place for him to live. Atop of the Jeremyville sign. Now that little bit's done, the entire area is looking a whole lot better as well. I'm really happy with that. You can see the little hut there. In fact, I might add a chimney on it. I think that'd look quite cute. Plus, I just love a good fire pit. Plus, if I have like little huts for all of my animals, imagine how cool it will look with all the little chimneys on them. There we go. Much better. Donkey Jeremy's already escaped. Oh no. How, why, how is he up here? It might have something to do with these leaves. Stay, Donkey Jeremy. Stay. I built you this lovely hut. Please use it. Now, I said at the start of this episode, I wanted to make a new shop. And while I was streaming, I asked people what I should sell in this shop. And I made a list, which includes lassoes with unbreaking five, golden carrots, villagers, obsidian, sand, gravel, waystones, waste scrolls, dark prismarine, regular prismarine, lucky blocks, enchanted books, backpacks and spawners. I feel like this is a lot of cool stuff that people would actually buy. So we're gonna have to do a bit of grinding to get all of these. Let's go through the list in the order we've got here. And in fact, let's make a little backpack quickly to store all of the stuff we're going to sell in. Here we go. And now we're gonna gather some of these items. Some of these might make quite a satisfying time lapse. Let's get to work. And like usual, I forgot to actually record most of it, but here is me gathering some gravel really, really quickly. And we're back. It didn't take too long to collect all of this stuff, which gives me hope for the future that it won't take long to restock the shop. But we've got a nice looking backpack here, this orange backpack. And as you can see, we've got some lassoes with unbreaking 14 
on them, which is ridiculous, better than any of the ones I've got. We've got a load of backpacks here, which people can dye to whatever color they want. Some golden carrots, couldn't really get lots of these. We've got a load of obsidian in this backpack here. We've got a load of sand and gravel, a load of warp scrolls. We've got 17 waystones, some dark prismarine, and we can only make 11 lucky blocks with the stuff we had. I need to set up a zombie piglin in one of the mob farms at some point. Now we've actually got all that sorted, we can actually get working on this shop. So I've gathered up the materials I need for this shop as you can see here, and uh, it's quite a fun design. I don't know why I do this for my shops. Rather than just building something nice, I build something weird. I've got some diamonds as well, because I'm probably going to have to buy some wool from Scott, which I already did earlier, by the way, I forgot to mention, with the green wool up there. But let's figure out where we're going to put this thing. Also, we've got a five-heart clubhouse now, although I'm not allowed in it. See, I built my zombie shop all the way out of the way here, which... I kind of regret now. So I think I might build just behind the Four Heart Club and next to Scott over here with his wool shop, just because it's easy for me to go get the wool. Let's go to the time lapse of Joel's Bob and Bits shop. So Bob and Bits gave me an idea, and that idea was to have a Bob and his bits. And this here is our Bob, Bob the Builder, which is a character in the UK. I'm not sure if you guys have it in the US of A, but in the UK, Bob the Builder, he's a, he's a builder. So we built him and then we built a toolbox next to him where we're going to put his bits. And then we made a little sign as well. And here it is, Joel's Bob and Bits shop. As you can see, this is Bob, and these are his bits in the toolbox right there. Also tried to make it look nice, made a little pathway up to it with some flowers, etc. I think it's looking pretty good. Bob stands out. All we need to do now is add his bits into the toolbox here. Because at the moment, it's empty. We've not really put anything in here. So I've got some crates here. Let's separate these out nicely. And start divvying out everything into its separate crate. And now we've got everything laid out in these crates here. We need to decide how much it costs. So 64 warp scrolls for a diamond. We'll also do some deals as well, like one backpack equals one diamond or three backpacks for two and same with waystones. Five stacks of gravel for a diamond. Same with sand. We'll sell half a stack of golden carrots for a diamond. Dark prismarine a stack per diamond. These lassoes are quite hard to get, plus they have unbreaking four runs. So I'm gonna sell them for eight diamonds each. And we'll sell obsidian for a diamond each. There we go. I feel like that's pretty fair, all those prices. I hope people actually come and buy these things. I'll let everyone know that the Bobs and Bits store is now open. I'm happy with that. I hope we actually make some profit off it. Be a bit of a shame if we didn't. But finally today, you may have noticed there's a sign here saying, Name a cow, Jeremy the cow. I actually named a cow on my live stream called Cow Jeremy. But I like the name Jeremy the cow. Someone suggested that. So let's quickly get a name tag. Name another one of these cows. Someone said I should start working on the pandas if I run out of cows. We don't even have to go in. Let's name this one there. There we go, Jeremy the cow. Look, oh, right next to Cow Jeremy. There's some more in there somewhere. By the way, this new sword I've got is ridiculously good at collecting XP. Look at this thing. It's uh, just insane. But I want to get... Get more Neverstar stuff as at the moment we got one sword and this sword is good for getting XP But for killing stuff and getting their drops. I need a better sword So I'm gonna head to the never quickly and try and lasso a wither to get some wither skulls And let's also try and get an unbreaking book. That's why I was killing all those zombies down there Oh first time nice and let's head to the never which I haven't been to really since we added the new mods. And apparently there's some scary stuff in here. So this should be interesting. Let's be very careful. I know where the Never Fortress is though. I'm hoping we'll be all right. This area is all quite nice and lit up. But look, what is that? They look spooky. And look, there's a plant up there. Apparently those plants grab you. Oh gosh, it's locked onto me. Okay, we need to get away. Oh, thank goodness. But here's the Never Fortress. Let's see if... Oh, there, we have a skeleton. Come here, fella. Gimme, gimme yourself. Oh no, I've been withered. I should be fine for now. Alright, that's not too bad. Let's plop this dude in here. As you can see, we've been getting a load of prismarine shards during this episode. We can actually convert some of this into dark prismarine now, which is lovely. Now, I kind of want to finish off this area here a little bit. We still don't have a bridge over to the panda section, but I'm thinking maybe we just extend this path along to there. But we need a bridge over to this section here, which we're going to work on right now. So let me come up with a little cute bridge design across here. I think this is actually our one, two, three, fourth bridge now in this area. So yeah, I don't think we need a fifth one linking up the panda enclosure. I think this will be a final time lapse of the day. Lazy beans, 
Take it away. So quite a slow time lapse in terms of speed, but we decided to make a very similar looking bridge, although smaller to the bridge that you can see just by the panda there. We used some of the green bunting again, which I really kind of don't like using because if you have too much of the fairy mods light stuff around an area, the area starts to get really laggy and you can't get many frames. So I try to stay away from it. But for this one little bridge here, I made an exception as I think it looks really cute. And here you have it. I think it's adorable. We got some more fairy lights on here, which you can turn on and off, although I don't know why you'd want that. The bunting looking cute, the lamps on the end. I like it. I think it's a good addition. And now we don't have to swim across the water, which is lovely. And Project Link Jeremyville up to the new base is very much still in the works, but I think we're probably going to do a big base building session next video probably just do one big time lapse probably get the other half on this side done but that means we're gonna have to just knuckle down and get building as it takes quite a long time as um, I'm not sure if you noticed it's, it's pretty big but as I said Jeremyville is gonna be just as important as the new base still which is why we've added in a little section here for donkey Jeremy who's having a nice swim right now look at him he's loving life and we've got this and we got this new bridge this area is really starting to look very good. However, unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. We need to repay Scott somehow for helping us not die on the stream. So if you've got any ideas of what I could give him, please let me know in the comments down below. He's very overpowered, so uh, maybe just a load of diamonds might be the best shout. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like and comment if you did, and subscribe if you are new, and I shall see you another time. Goodbye.